Hi guys, this time around I'm commenting on an older video that um, SC Darwa has published and it seems this is from London's Speaker's Corner. Well, give me an alternate then, go on. I, I said God, you no, give me an alternate. No, 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 what I'm doing is, I'm looking at the evidence that we have at the moment and saying, I don't know. What you're doing is, in my opinion, yeah. you are find, you're essentially making something up to, to give reason for what you think. Now, there's no point in using my usual structure, so I'll just be commenting on what is being said. So I'll just run this, um, listen to what is being said, stop it, and then make a comment. And it seems there's a Muslim and a non-Muslim. The non-Muslim is just honest and admits there are things he doesn't know and accuses the Muslim of making stuff up. Now, I didn't hear the first part of it because this is in the middle of the conversation, so I don't really know what's happening here. But um, the, the first thing I notice here is that the Muslim is being dishonest. I don't know why. He expects others to define what he can't define and then do the work for him and define what evidence could be expected from something that has never been demonstrated to exist. This is the classic reversal of the burden of proof. The, the Muslim, uh, is it that the Muslim is making the claim, so the Muslim must provide his evidence to back up his claim. An uncaused cause exists, whatever that may be. I, I, wow, we're not even a minute into this and this entire discussion is over. Since this Muslim is not honest and tries to deceive his interlocutor. This is deteriorating very fast. I didn't see this coming. Come on, the Hitchens razor applies here. What can be claimed without evidence can be dismissed without evidence. It's that easy. If you think that this uncaused cause exists, well, then you need to know what it is. You need to know what the evidence is for its existence, and you need to provide that evidence. If not, I'm just going to check it out. It's that easy. Next, this... Okay, this really obtuse and deceptive asshole misrepresents all non-believers, including me, claiming that, you know, they or me or we all believe everything came from nothing, which is a blatant lie. What I'm saying is that to me, it is a fairy tale to believe that we came from nothing. I'm speechless. It is so frustrating to see these uneducated fools running around giving Islam and all Muslims in extension a bad name. Why don't his fellow Muslims stop him? This is terrible. And his, his argument is simply, I'm stupid, therefore God exists. Because he doesn't understand and he's not willing to investigate how the universe came into being and why it has the rules and laws that it does. And then he just says, no, I'm going to stop thinking. I'm going to just make up a God and say, well, this God did it. What are the attributes? Well, I don't know. I'll go look in the Quran. It's unbelievable that Muslims still applaud this silly guy. He doesn't even know what the name is for what he's doing, the infinite regress, and he calls it a loop. Oh, man. Please spare me. No, come on. Come on. All right, this is my limit. I will not waste over an hour to listen to this fool. Everything he says is ridiculously and embarrassingly stupid and also at the same time amazingly dishonest. I, I, no, come on, we don't need this. Go and get somebody better. See you in the next video. Sorry about this, but this is really not worth it.